I think a lot of it is from misunderstanding and a lack of education by these people um, and a lack of knowledge on what this country is built on. We're a small little island and we rely heavily on uh, people and people's skills. Uh, this, you know, when you go home, you're watching your television on a, usually a Chinese or a Japanese television, you're driving a German car and then you're out here trying to get everybody out. It doesn't make sense. And then they're having a Chinese at the end of the night as well. So, yeah, I find it quite strange and, yeah, it's, it's demoralizing for, to know that people in society can reach such a low point in their, in their lives where um, attacks are happening, you know, blatant racism is happening. Yeah, it's just sad to see, really. Well, I feel threatened, scared to come out of my house because um, Muslim people, we're not terrorists. That's how I feel like, I feel like we're being threatened. Um, it's not safe. Um, what we do um, as Muslims, we just pray five times a day. You know, we're not, we're not terrorists. That's against our religion. Yesterday I saw a video from Liverpool and it was quite terrifying because I saw that they are striking the black people, the women, even some of the kids as well. The thing is that, you know, they're blaming for nothing us. You know, I came over here on a student visa. I paid all of my NHS fees, visa fees and everything. I'm still working full time. I'm paying the full tax. So I'm working myself. I'm not getting any benefit from the government. I'm working for, the, for this country as well. So there is no meaning that we are do, doing any wrong thing with the country, with the people over here, you know. Everyone deserves to have a beautiful life, a peaceful life. We just want to have this over here, you know. Yeah, I feel very stressed and very, it's, it's very distressing uh, moment in our life. We've never seen this kind of uh, far-right group uh, active against the uh, anti-immigrant. Anti so we are, we are living fear and uh, anxiety. This could be anything could happen to us and, and we are living fear. The community, the, com the Muslim communities are terrorized. If I, if I'm going to use the word, they are terrorized. They fear, um, they fear for the safety. Um, they fear that they cannot go out. Uh, they fear um, that anything could happen. Like we saw that taxi drivers have been attacked. So people can, cannot really go and do their day-to-day -day job realistically because Uber drivers have been attacked, taxi drivers attacked, women are threatened, uh, mosques vandalized. And this is becoming the kind of, in, in the last few days, the activity that is happening on a daily basis across different regions of the UK. Yes. Thank you.